Here in the tundra of Russia's remote northern regions, it takes a lot of time to get anywhere. Dr. Leonid Subov has been coming here for years, providing medical care for the Nyenets, a nomadic people who live from reindeer farming. Each herd is made up of around 200 reindeer, tended by just a handful of men. Today, Dr. Subov is visiting a group of breeders led by Ivan Yavtisi. He's particularly interested in whether they've noticed climate change and if it's affecting their health. They talk about individual personal illnesses, but they aren't aware of any global changes affecting their health. They say they often have headaches or high blood pressure. But that does not have to be related to the climate. The Nyenyet don't tend to worry about their health too much anyway. Dr. Subov often meets children like little Yegor. He's lived with his parents in the tundra for four years. The only time he was seen by a doctor was shortly after his birth. Everything's fine. I have a daughter too, she's 14, and she's never been sick. We can't complain. But life as a reindeer breeder is far from easy. Often they suffer from pains in their joints. Spending so much time outdoors and the long journeys by sledge inevitably take their toll. Then there's the weather, which is always extreme here in this sub-Arctic region. The effects of any climate change can be measured only over a long period of time. We would need to be able to compare nowadays with a particular point in the past. Those kinds of studies have never been carried out here, so it's difficult to say how the climate here does affect people's health. But there's one thing the Nyenyets have noticed. The summers are getting longer. The ice in the region's many lakes and rivers now starts melting earlier. That means the reindeer breeders have to move with their herds earlier in the year to their summer pastures further north. Leonid Subov has noticed this trend over the past 10 years. The nomads are having to stay in their summer pastures for longer, going earlier and coming back later. That means the reindeer breeders are cut off from medical care for up to two months longer. Life here is very strenuous. If I wasn't here doing my job, I'd describe my visit here as a kind of extreme medical tourism. But obviously, the importance of providing medical care here also motivates me as a doctor. If temperatures continue to rise here, then help for the Nyenyets will have to be much better organized. The doctors also concerned that the nomads' traditional sources of food might also be affected at some stage. The longer the summer, the greater the thaw. And that would mean large areas of land here could be flooded. That would increase the likelihood of new diseases being transferred from the reindeer or the geese to the local population. But so far, all appears to be well. Everything with the geese is okay. The first ones arrive in early May, like they've always done. And just before, in late April, the swans come. Nothing's changed so far. Yegor Letkov says there have been fewer geese than usual this summer. But that's happened before sometimes. And then last winter was particularly cold here, he says, with temperatures of minus 40 degrees Celsius. Leonid Subov is surprised by what he hears. 
там много изменений. Lots of things have changed in the cities over the last few decades. Modern civilization brings many advantages, and in particular, improved medical treatment. But with the nomadic peoples, it's completely different. We thought we'd be able to see the effects of climate change here much more clearly and exactly, because there have been almost no changes otherwise. We accompany Dr. Subov on a visit to Yegor Letkov's family. Here he's once again the doctor and no longer the climate scientist conducting research. Little Stepan has a rash that developed soon after he was born. His mother hasn't been able to get him to a doctor for over a year. We buy medication before we head out. Something for headaches, sore throat, coughs and tummy ache. I now know roughly what we need. Dr. Subov can't provide any immediate help. He assumes it's some kind of allergy and plans to seek help from a specialist. A skin allergy like this child has can quickly develop into a bacterial infection. It can get so bad that the child would have to undergo surgery. And we have to avoid that at all costs. Dr. Subov says catching things early, before they become serious, is decisive here in this remote region, because getting any kind of help takes a long time. Good planning and organization are likely to become increasingly important for the Nyenets. If the summers continue to get longer and hotter, the reindeer breeders will be cut off for longer periods from the outside world.